The second we found out that Nintendo was finally releasing a HD console, what was the first thing that came in your head? Yeah, Mario. Mario Kart. Maybe Yoshi, maybe Kirby, Donkey Kong, Zelda. That's what came to your head. This is what we want. Now, finally, 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 we have a trailer. It goes for like a little bit more than a minute. It's not a big one, but it reveals several things. So, what am I talking about? The HD Zelda, the one that has taken the most resources Nintendo has ever put into a game. These are confirmed. I've been stalking this game like a person without a life. Except I have a life, so it's been interrupted. Anyway, so let's talk about what we know about Zelda, what's been confirmed, and what's been shown in the latest trailer <coughs> at E3. Firstly, this is Nintendo's biggest title. You can think of any Nintendo game. Think of the resources. Think of the manpower. Think of what they had to do to put it together. Nintendo confirmed a long time ago that they are putting the most effort ever and the most resources and the biggest budget into the next Zelda. And the reason, which I was quite impressed that they outright admitted, they know we expect a lot. They said it. We know our fans are expecting a lot. They're expecting to be blown away. And if we produce anything less than great, people will have us. And without sounding like too much of a monster, it is, it is true. Like, Nintendo has a really high um, standard for quality games. That's why we can forgive them if there's four or five years between a Mario game. You know, they sort of make it up with how good it is. Keep in mind, we want them to come a lot more. You don't need that much time. Anyway, so I'm glad that they've outright admitted that they want to raise up to the challenge and bring us a quality title. Another thing which Eiji or Norma, oh no, I need to figure out how to pronounce the name, the creator of Zelda, um, he's also announced, and he's been doing on a few of his most recent titles, Wind Waker, the HD remake, which came out, and the Zelda game most recent, which came out on the 3DS. One aspect he's been exploring and he will continue to support is being able to tackle the game's dungeons and so forth in any order. He doesn't want you to go to Dungeon A, unlock the glove. Dungeon B, unlock the arrow. No more of this. His design now is go, just woo, go wherever you want. Do it at your own pace, in your own order, and that makes sense. It makes sense. Zelda has never been about a linear experience. It's always been about exploration, so it was always a bit weird that you had to do the castles or dungeons or what have you, bosses, in a certain pattern. I can understand for the first boss, you normally get your first good weapon and it sets the mood and tone. Then you should be able to go whichever direction you want. And um, they seem to be supporting this idea. The trailer, the first thing which was announced, is, and a lot of people have been commenting on this online, <clears throat> and I have to agree. It's as if Zelda and Skyrim, so you know Skyrim um, by Bethesda, big open world, explore. It's like both of them merged into one. The trailer shows a character who a lot of people don't believe is actually Link, or at the very least hasn't been confirmed. Blonde, blue eyes, it looks different, pointy chin, looks more anime like to be honest. Anyway, he or she or whatever it is is on um, the horse. Inuma? Inuma? Brain freeze. Anyway, the horse. You know. Epona. Epona. Brain came back. Alright. So it's on Epona, it's on a big open field. You can see the wind blowing effect in the grass. You can see the trees. You can see the mountains. There, it didn't look like any set paths. It wasn't like you know you have your dirt texture, you have your trees around you. And that's it. This was clearly you were on a hill and you could go any direction you wanted. Anyway, part of the clip, I won't really bother explaining it because I'll leave a link below, is you're chased by this huge machine thing. The graphics are wonderful. The graphics is cell shaded. Now, if you don't know what cell shading is, that is the graphic style which Wind Waker is and what the last Zelda Wii game was. You know, it looks more cartoony looks like more of an animation. This is what it looks like, but definitely, definitely the next level. Like, if you thought the Wind Waker remake HD on the Wii you look good, you look at this and you'll be like, oh wow, this, this cell shaded thing is taking the next step. Now, I'll admit, I did 
I don't know, for some reason I want a little bit more of a realistic approach to the textures, to the graphics. I didn't want realism because realism gets old. Like you look at it, you're like, oh yeah, and then a couple years later it's outdated, it doesn't look so nice. Yeah, you know. We also we all saw that Zelda tech demo. So we all got a taste and we're like, oh yeah, yeah, I want that. So at first I was oh so shady. But then I actually sat there, I bothered looking at the video, and it is really gorgeous. It is fantastic. The attention to detail, I hope that the game plays out how the trailer looked. Because, for example, in the trailer you have this big machine spider thing. It's chasing Link. I'm going to say Link until I know otherwise. You know, and they're shooting these lasers everywhere, and they're doing these fire explosions. And just the speed and the timing of the animations looked very fluent, like it looked very satisfying. It's a bit hard to explain. If you watch it, which I rec highly recommend you do, you'll know what I mean. And there was a few other changes which I noticed as well. During a battle sequence, which is showcased, Link jumps off the Pona and um, actually, you know what? I won't, I won't mention that. I'll let you watch the Link. You really need to watch it. Anyway, the game's finally been revealed. In a trailer, I want to see actual gameplay. You can tell the trailer review uses in-game graphics, but still, I want the gameplay. I want to see how it plays out. It's coming out 2015, so yes, we have to wait a little while longer. But you know, Nintendo has quite a few other games coming out in the meantime. I mean, Mario Kart 8 just came out. You know, get your hands on that. Start doing the races, and there's other games coming out as well. <clears throat> now, that's all I have to say for Z the next HD Zelda until more information came out. This whole thing is just based off a one minute and something trailer clip. It looks gorgeous. It's finally coming. Definitely will be a system seller. Now, in my next video, I wanted to discuss Mario Maker. You know what? Stop it. I'll just discuss it in this one. I can't be bothered to do another video. Mario Maker is exactly what it sounds like, and Nintendo revealed it. You can make your own Mario stages. Think of the old school graphics. You know, you have your tiles, you have your turtles, you have your question mark. You know, you have all of that. You can make them, you can place everything. It's a full on level editor. You can choose how long the pipes are, and it looks like it's a Nintendo counterpart. Now this was pretty cool, but while watching I thought, oh, Nintendo, you're not really the type to milk something, but this looked like a bit of milking. I'm like, yeah, I'll enjoy creating some old school, full-fledged, um, you know, Mario levels. But I thought, oh, Sprite, mm. you know, a couple hours tops, I'll be bored of that, and then boom, in the trailer they click a 3D button, and then it switched from Sprites to 3D. Not any 3D. It switched to this 3D, the Wii U 3D. This game came out obviously when the Wii U launched, New Super Mario Bros. U. That looked fantastic. You all know the graphics, very smooth, like it was great. We can start making this stuff, come on. How can you not be psyched about that? You can do it old school, you can do it 3D, and it's very smooth. You just click the 3, 3D button, it loads it up, you know? Like, we've, I'm sure we've all thought about it, oh, can I make my own stage? And this will open up a huge community. I hope they do, they have to embrace the whole online nature of this. I need to be able to share my stages with other gamers. I want to receive stages from other gamers. I want the best making stages. And they're out there, you know? They're out there. There's people who can make stages better than Nintendo. There's people that cannot make anything. It will thrive, the community will be fantastic. Now, the video doesn't show how deep the tools are. And by that I mean, yeah, it showed you can make the ground stage. Think of the first early levels of this game. Everything you saw in that you can make, and you can do some really funny things, like you can build way too many enemies. You can have them walking on top of each other. You can just create impossible stages which will be too hard to complete. It didn't show just how varied it is though. Like I can make outside stages. Can I make castle stages? Can I make underwater stages? You know? 
can I make stages which you know on the, you have ground on the top and then you have the water bits can I make the secret areas which you see you know when you're running and you see a bit of a gap in a wall and you walk into it and it turns out it's a wall you can walk through and you find a secret area will we be able to do all of that basically what I'm asking is will we be able to make these stages which Nintendo themselves make or at least close personally I hope they don't hold back they give it everything. The Mario Maker? Who wouldn't want it? Seriously, who wouldn't want it? And you wouldn't get bored of it because other people will be making stages all the time. That's fantastic. I think Little Big Planet? Is that the one? Yes, Little Big Planet would have helped inspire Nintendo, I think, because we all know how that game came out. Side scroller. 3D graphics, and everyone could make their own stages, and everyone got really creative and all that. What's the bit that motivated Nintendo? Anyways, I think I've been going on for long enough. You've been watching Gamers Treehouse 2013. Before, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions, or you just want to give me your two cents worth. Go for it. This is a gamers community. The whole point is to connect gamers, as if you see next to your best mate. You've heard, you know, your current news and you're psyched about it. Psyched? This is the place to do it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in.